Okay, this is question two from 2019's uh, GCP for Lamaze, paper three, the statistics paper. Okay, the question says, uh, Rebecca takes two beads at random without replacement from a bag containing six blue. Uh, so there's six blue and there's four green. So that's a total of 10 in total. Uh, so what is the probability that both, uh, both beads are the same color? Okay, so first of all, she could pull out a blue, which is six out of 10, and then she could pull out another blue. So if if they're taken at the same time, then that means they're not replaced. So there's one less in total, and also one less blue in total. So that's blue and blue, or, so when you say or, you do an add, you could have green, so four out of 10, and another green, which is gonna be three over nine. Um, not really that much use to cancel down in these questions, just leave it as, as you have it. So you have 30 over 90 plus, and that's gonna be about 12 over 90, which works out to be 42 over 90 which is then 21 over 45, which then works out to be top and bottom divided by three to give you seven over 15. So seven over 15. Number part two says, Re Rebecca takes a third bead from the remaining eight beads in the bag. What is probably that all three beads are the same color? What is probably that all three beads are the same color? So you've got uh, the same idea. We're just gonna, we're gonna extend this thing here. So you won't have all three beads being the same color. So it's got a, we're gonna have, what do we have there? Let me write that down very quickly there. Six over 10 times five over nine. I'm gonna leave a week up because we're gonna have another wee sum in. I have four over 10 times three over nine. And then I'll have another sub here, a sum here. Okay, so you have, remember you had the six blue at the start and you want to get all three the same. So that's now going to the next probability is going to be four out of eight. Over here, the next one's going to be uh, two over eight. So we'll just work those out. Um, I'll just work out what the denominators are going to be. So both denominators are going to be the same. So you've got 10 times nine times eight. So they're both going to be over 720. And just makes it easier if you just leave them both got. And then you had six times five times four which works out to be 120. And then the other one was four times three times two, which is 24. So what you've got overall is 144 over 720. So 144 divided by 720, I'll just use my calculator this time, and that works out really nicely to be one fifth. Okay, part three says, given that the first two beads are the same, what is the probability that the third bead is also the same? as the first two. Okay, right. This is conditional probability. So we're using the probability of A given B, which is equal to probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. So it says, let's put in the given bit. So given that the first two, uh, first two are same, uh, find the probability that the third bit is also the same. So all three the same. Okay, right. What that means then, uh, using this definition for conditional probability, you've got to have all three the same on the top and the first two are the same. All right, and we'll think about that uh, in a wee second what that means. And then that's divided by the probability that uh, the, uh, the first two are the same. Now, this top line, if you think about it, I've told you that all three are the same and the first two are the same. That's the same as just being all three are the same. So I think that's what we worked out in part two and then divided by what we worked out in part one, which was the first two are the same. So we're just going back and looking at those probabilities. So the top line is one fifth, that all three are the same. And the bottom line, what was it? It was seven over 15. So divided by seven over 15. And then just do that on a calculator. Uh, top, I do use my fraction button, top line I'm putting in one over five. Oops, if I could do that, that'll be good. Uh, top line I'm putting in uh, one over five and the bottom line I'm putting in seven over seven, I'm in trouble with my calculator, seven over 15. And if I do that, I got an answer of three sevenths. So there we have it, three sevenths. Done.